Oscar Piastri, who's only 21 years old, is widely considered to be the most exciting prospect in Australian motorsport. The young driver has secured a Formula 1 seat for the 2023 season, and the journey that brought him to where he is today began many years ago. So let's take a look at the rise of Oscar Piastri. Now, before we go any further, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our amazing videos. Thanks for doing that, now let's get started. Piastri was born in Melbourne, Australia. He started his karting career in 2011. In 2014, Piastri turned professional and competed in various races and championships in Australia. The following year, he began competing in European and other CIK FIA sanctioned karting championships with Ricky Flynn Motorsport. In 2016, he decided to advance his racing career by moving to the United Kingdom, and that year, he competed at the World Championship, which took place in Bahrain and finished sixth. Formula 4 Later on in the year 2016, Piastri made his debut in a single-seater car with Dragon F4, competing in a few rounds of the Formula 4 UAE Championship. He finished sixth in the championship, claiming two podium finishes. Now, that competition served as a warm-up for his main focus in 2017, which was the British Formula 4 Championship. Piastri signed for Arden, the team run by Red Bull team principal Christian Horner's father Gary, and fought for the title against Carlin's Jamie Caroline. He claimed his first win in a racing car, a reverse grid race at Alton Park, and went on to win five more times and was title runner-up with 376.5 points. In December 2018, it was reported that Piastri would switch to reigning team champions R-Race GP for the 2019 championship. He claimed his first victory in the series at Silverstone and repeated with a second win at the same venue a day later. He became the first driver to win three races in 2019 after taking victory at spa franco champs in July and became the champion after taking win and fourth place in the final round at Yas Marina. Formula 3 Championship in October 2019, Piastri joined the postseason test with reigning FIA Formula 3 team champions Prema Racing. The Italian team announced in January 2020 that they had recruited Piastri to compete in the following upcoming season alongside Logan Sargent and Federic Vesti, who won the 2019 Formula Regional European Championship. In his first race at the Red Bull Ring, Piastri got off to a good start by starting third on the grid. At the first turn, he was involved in a collision with the race's pole sitter, Sebastian Fernandez, but he avoided any damage and went on to win. Piastri finished in second position three times in a row at both the Hungarian races and the first feature race at Silverstone. Teammate Sargent took the lead in the championship from Piastri at the second Silverstone feature race after Piastri struggled with reliability issues in qualifying. Piastri started fifth for the sprint race in Barcelona, but overtook multiple cars to take the lead before the end of the first lap. He was able to maintain his position and win his second victory. Piastri reclaimed the championship lead after finishing fifth at the following Spa Francochamps feature race, but dropped back again after being penalized for an illegal overtake in the sprint race, which Sargent won. Due to Piastri's impeding of Jake Hughes during the qualifying session at Monza, he was given a penalty and started the main race in 15th place. He made a strong charge to finish in 3rd place, and he recovered the lead in the championship thanks to Sargent getting into an accident. Piastri retired from the sprint race after being hit by Clement Novelak, but was also issued a 5-place grid penalty for the next race for forcing David Beckman off the track earlier. Despite his retirement, Piastri maintained the lead in the championship after his teammates collided with each other. Piastri lined up 16th on the grid for the final feature race at the Mugello circuit and failed to score points after finishing 11th. Title rival Sargent finished 6th, leaving both drivers tied on 160 points going into the final race. Sargent started the sprint race 6 places ahead of Piastri, but was eliminated after a collision on the first lap. Piastri's only remaining title rival, Theo Pocher, could not bridge the points gap. Piastri finished seventh to claim the championship title, three points ahead of Pocher and four ahead of Sargent. Formula 2 Championship Now, Piastri made the announcement that he will continue with Prema Racing into Formula 2 in December 2020. He took the place of Mick Schumacher, who left the team, and Piastri teamed up with Robert Schwartzman, who was a member of the Ferrari Driver Academy. In his first race, Piastri finished fifth overall. Piastri started the second Formula 2 race in sixth place, but worked his way up the field to achieve his first victory in the series. Piastri began the feature race in eighth position, 
but by lap 13 of 32, he had passed multiple vehicles and taken the lead. After making contact with Dan Tictum and spinning out with two laps left in the race, he was eventually compelled to retire from the race. Piastri took consecutive second place finishes at the Monaco round to take second place in the championship standings behind Joe. Piastri scored his first feature race win in the series in Monza. He then strengthened his lead in the championship with another pole position and win at Sochi. After Yuri Vips, Piastri became the second driver in that season to win two races on the same weekend by finishing first in Jeddah's second sprint race and being in the lead when the feature race was aborted. The Australian clinched the title with a podium in race one at Yaz Marina, thus becoming the third driver to win the championship in their rookie season. He capped off his season with a win in the feature race, his fourth in a row, which meant that Piastri had won six races more than any other driver that season. Piastri became one of the few drivers in the GP2 F2 history to win the championship in their first season of competition, joining the ranks of legendary names such as Nico Rosberg, Lewis Hamilton, Nico Hülkenberg, Charles Leclerc and George Russell. With his victory in the 2019 Formula Renault Euro Cup, he became the first driver in history to win three consecutive F1 feeder series championships. Before him, only Hamilton, Hülkenberg, Leclerc and Russell had won the GP3 F3 title, followed by the GP2 F2 title the following year. Formula 1 In January 2020, Piastri became a member of the Renault Sport Academy. He participated in his first Formula 1 test in October with the Renault F1 team. The test took place at the Bahrain International Circuit and he drove the Renault RS18 alongside fellow Academy drivers Christian Lungard and Zhao Guan Yu. He continued to be a part of what was then known as the Alpine Academy in 2021 and piloted the Alpine A521 during the postseason young drivers test held at Yasmarina Circuit in December of that year. After his Formula 2 title victory, Piastri was appointed as Alpine F1 team's reserve driver for the 2022 season. However, the team ensured he had multiple opportunities to test for the Formula 1 championship and guaranteed him rides in their car during the first practice sessions. But things turned around when Fernando Alonso suddenly announced that he would be switching to Aston Martin for the 2023 season. The next day, Alpine Racing announced that Piastri would replace Alonso for the 2023 season, although they were unaware that he'd already agreed to drive for McLaren. However, just a few hours after Alpine's announcement, Piastri took to social media and declared that it wasn't true that they hadn't agreed to anything with Alpine. This sparked a massive controversy. It was subsequently discovered that he had previously agreed to terms with McLaren and signed a contract with them. The Contract Recognition Board of the FIA convened a tribunal to rule on the matter. At the beginning of September, the tribunal decided that McLaren did, in fact, have a valid contract with Piastri. Alpine had failed to maintain their hold on a driver whose exploits in junior categories had established him as an undeniable future star. Most rookies in Formula 1 start their careers on smaller, slower teams like Williams, Haas or Alfa Romeo. On the other side, McLaren is an established company with a track record of successful performance. They have the engineers and, more crucially, the financial resources to at least lead the pack in the middle of the field. That's something that would be of great benefit to Piastri. Being in such a fortunate position to start his F1 career, Piastri's chances of making it to top-tier teams like Mercedes are naturally amplified. So, what's your thought about Piastri? Do you see him dominating F1 in years to come? Let us know in the comments down below. That's all for today's video. Thanks for staying tuned. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you can always get to watch more amazing videos like this. We at 5 Second Penalty have got you covered on the latest topics. See you in the next video.